My name is Craig Lemoyne and I am the facility supervisor for the fuel and material cells. What we do is we receive and process the pressure tube scrape samples that come from the power reactors. So the power reactors in Canada are monitored for the amount of hydrogen in some of their main components, uh, one being the pressure tube. Uh, and the pressure tube is what holds the fuel channel. Their service guideline requires that they measure the amount of hydrogen in their pressure tubes at, at regular intervals or, on, at, or at specific times. The last year, last two years, there's been an increase in the amount of um, monitoring that we've been doing. So what happens is the, the power reactors remove small scrape samples and they send them to CNL for analysis. The FMC would be one of the first places that receives them. We unpackage them from the power station. Uh, we identify them, clean them, segregate them, um, and then start the analysis, uh, the analysis process. And one of the things that we do um, is we clean and weigh them. Uh, we sometimes image them, visually examine them. Um, we report all this information back to the power station and then on their direction we, we take the scrape samples and we weld them and then we, we move them out of our facility to analytical chemistry where they can do another of the analysis portions of the work and they can actually measure the amount of hydrogen uh, and deuterium that are in the pressure tube samples. My name is Heather Shapu. I've worked um, at Chalk River since 1997. On the scrape project, I was involved as the technical lead for some of the scrape contracts, but there was a group of us that um, shared the number of campaigns we had, and the number of scrapes that we have analyzed over the last year or two has been much more than we've done in the recent past. I think the biggest thing that we as a team overcame was um, the schedule that we that we managed to um, deal with. We had people that were um, very willing to put in extra hours and be here the instant the samples came in in order to give the utilities the best um, the best schedule that we could. We are really a full service nuclear research facility and we have uh, we have capabilities that they probably have nowhere else in the world. Um, obviously we're well positioned being in Canada to service Canadian reactors and um, we've been doing it for quite some time, so we really are experts in, uh, in the measurement of hydrogen in, in pressure tubes. So I think, number one, that, that's the reason they choose CNL. We, we, uh, we've, we've done great work in the past, and our reputation precedes us for this work. I think it's a really big success that we were, we were able to complete it in the time that we needed to, the amount of work in the short time that we had.